Since the electrical apprenticeship model began, classroom instruction with a textbook and a pencil has been the one and only way to train. In Philadelphia, that's not the case anymore. Inside that headset, you can do anything. I can put you anywhere in the world on any job site. I can put you on a beach wire in a receptacle. It's that real. Surreal. <laughs> like, it feels like you're there and you have to constantly remind yourself that you're standing in a classroom looking at what you're looking at. The first time you put it on, it is kind of a weird experience. You're seeing things in front of you that aren't really there, but you do learn how to interact with it, how to use like the triggers to grab like your meter leads to test something or to pull a fuse out of a disconnect. And it does kind of feel like a game when you're wearing the goggles. The feeling of how lifelike it was. Frankly, it was a little scary, but it was neat. And I thought it was a great new way to learn. There are 600 apprentices at Local 98, and there are eight VR stations where everyone gets a chance to learn. Sometimes all eight stations going at the same time. Well, virtual education will allow us to train everyone about every condition. So not only do you learn you know, how to tip fiber, but you can learn how to terminate big cable in gear, but you can also maintain it and program it. They had a windmill scenario he came onto the job, brand new wheel mill was just put up and they wanted you to go inside the room and take a look at it. Philadelphia right now does not have any windmills. So if you were ever to be a traveler or whatever, it's great to learn about different locations that you could possibly be in. And in order to go in there, it's a very high voltage area. So you had to properly equip yourself with the PPE. Once you got that right, then your character changed. You can learn a lot. It's something where you feel safe with exploring things and you know you're okay. I guess my favorite one would be the uh, testing the, the three-phase disconnect switch because it's, again, very intuitive to what you would do in the field. You're testing the leads to check for voltage. You're pulling a bad fuse. You're making sure you lock out the uh, disconnect so that it's safe and everything. And it, it's nice because it really applies to what you would do in the field to make sure you're doing a uh, electrical job safely and efficiently. With this technology, we can put an apprentice in a very dangerous situation safely. We're not supposed to ever work around live energized parts. Well now, virtually, we can do that. If you mess up, you're basically in a video game, you get another life, you get to try again. You're not actually using, you're risking your real life out in the field. But what about the contractors? How is it in this new era to know your apprentices have already done that virtually before coming to the job site? The feedback from contractors has been terrific. They realize that the new breed of apprentices, they work online, on their iPhones, on the iPads. They do everything, you know, digitally now. That's how they're learning. You know, having that controlled environment and having a teacher that's going to be able to tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, this is what went wrong here, right there in the present, instead of having to go find uh, the journeyman that they're working with or the foreman that they're working with and explain it. They have a teacher in the classroom with them that can kind of guide them through the step-by-step -step process. Bringing virtual reality education to Local 98 didn't happen overnight. It took a team working together. It's vitally important that Penn Del Jersey chapter of NECA has a tremendous relationship with IBW Local 98. When Local 98 is successful, our contractors are successful. When Neek and the contractors are successful, the local is successful. So we have worked hard and hand in hand for years to develop the best training program in the country. I mean, we're lucky here at Local 98. We have a great partnership between labor and management. The trustees at the apprentice training program are 100% behind all of our ideas. You know, we, we come to them and tell them an idea and they're 100% behind us. This ain't something just for us. This is something that we would like to share with some of the smaller programs that wouldn't financially wouldn't be able to put this together. Get on the train with this type of new training. I mean, it is tremendous. The feedback we've gotten from our apprentices are great. Our contractors are excited about it. And frankly, it's state-of-the-art training that we really need to develop as a national standard throughout the country. Them kids understand everything we're doing in this business. And they're better equipped to use virtual education, virtual reality to move forward than any other group of people anyplace else. Because they want to be here.
For Electric TV in Philadelphia, I'm Erica McClarity. 